Hello guys, and welcome to Forza Motorsport 4. As you can see in the background, um, I'm doing a little bit of drifting in an RX-7 at the amazing Fujimi Kayado. Um, DT actually made this car back probably about five or six years ago, um, but yeah. Uh, you can tell it's DT because it's purple and that was his favourite colour back in the day. Uh, but yeah, this game, 10 years old today. Um, so instead of doing like my usual play around on the game, um, where I just go around and play on it and uh, take a look back at what we can do, I decided that I'm going to go through a list of cars which I think should be in the next Forza games, whether it be Forza Motorsport 8 or... Um, Forza Horizon 6 I think that's coming out very soon I think the car list has actually already been brought out for the game but if we have it for maybe a DLC or something like that it'd be pretty cool um, to have some of these cars back in the Forza games because this is probably my favourite Forza game ever made uh, the amount of time I've spent on here is unreal it's the actual only Forza game I've ever completed um, it was it was hard work, but we got there. Um, it was a cracking, cracking game. Me and DT, uh, or Snooze, whatever you want to call him, uh, had an absolute blast playing this game. Uh, I even got Robbie to play it, Jack to play it, Z White Rabbit to play it, Kieran to play it. So many people to play it, and it was it was a massive part of my childhood. So I thought I'd do a quick one of these videos um, just to show the show the world. Um, what cars were missing out really in the uh, new Forza games as we everyone loves this section oh so, so flowing nice picturesque uh, thing in the background there but as you can see just looking at this section oh this just needs to be brought into a game um, oh they just I don't know why they never put it in any of the Forza Motorsports since number four oh what a game this was, 2011. So obviously some of these cars are going to be fairly old now that I'm going to say on this list. So I hope you enjoy. Enjoy the list. So here we are with the first car, the Gumper Apollo S R3 class on Forza 4. Um, an absolute legend. 2010. Um, it hasn't been in Forza since Forza Horizon 1. So we're going to go throw it around Maple uh, Park or whatever the hell the track is called. It's not a real track. Uh, Maple Valley. Um, it's really, really, really windy. So it's perfect for drifting. And let's be honest, this is what this game was actually made for. It's so good. Um, obviously, Slap Train used to go around it all the time. Just listen to it. So we're going to quickly go into uh, cinematic mode now. Um, there we go. Just look at it. Oh my god. Nearly 700 brake horsepower going through them back wheels. Drifting sideways in a, what's really an amazing sports car. Obviously this used to be an absolute powerhouse on the Top Gear test track. Absolutely unbelievable. Looking in blue, it just looks so nice. And if this was in any of the new um, Forza games, it'd be so good. Imagine top speed runs in it. I know the new Gumper is going to be in the game, but just think about putting the old one in. 2010, 2010, this car was made, and it was it was unbeatable for what it was—a street road legal car um, from a very much unknown brand. Obviously, being Gumper, um, yeah, just, just really, really nice. Uh, 4.2 litre twin turbo V8 in the back of this back of the V8s were still, you know, kicking and screaming, unlike, uh, you know, they are trying to be brought away from nowadays. Um, yeah, you just they just don't make them like they used to. Um, all the boring brands like Lamborghini, Ferrari, really making the cars, that's the mine. You don't have cars like Gumpert pulling out one of these. I mean, I know they've got a new car coming out, but it's took them so long. Um, if we could have just had these in the games that have been since, it just wouldn't really make sense, wouldn't it? It's such a nice car, though, and uh, it's really bringing it back, looking at it from, from this, really. It's so nice, just looking at it from back on 
this game 10 years old but yes anyway that is this let's get on to the second car in the list so the next car on the list is from the United States SSC Ultimate Aero TT 2010 production car nobody had heard of this before Forza 4 came out um, let's be honest but everybody kind of knows about it now from Forza the location we are going to take it to is Le Mans obviously um, with its top speed runs that it's capable of doing it was a challenger the Bugatti Veyron to try and reach unbelievable top speeds so we're going to take it around here as you can see, I'm trying to control this. It's struggling. You can, you can hear as the the air brakes come up on 2010 car. Let's say the, uh, the car at this real time was the big guy able to have them. You can hear the replay doing a bit of a weird thing in the background. It's kind of horrible in your ears. I'm not gonna lie. I want it to hit a certain speed. It, it's not very nice, but it still looks pretty cool. But just listen to the, listen to the car. Oh, again, just a real car. 6.3 liter, twin turbocharged, twin turbocharged V8. What a car! So just gonna let you listen to this, and you'll see. So yeah, you can see we're getting up into the 257, 258, 259, and then also 260 in this car from 2010. So I haven't, I haven't tuned it, haven't done anything. I just decided let's just fly it down the down the completely stock, and that's what it did. And I was quite happy with that. I'm not going to lie. Um, Obviously, this game being from 2011 doesn't give it justice, as I go very wide there, and um, doesn't give it justice with the graphical wise, but I'm pretty sure if they did put these cars into the next forces, um, they'd obviously look a lot better. Um, but this grey is just so ominous. Oh, just listen and look at it. It's so cool. But yeah, no one had ever heard of this car before this game. And to be fair to say, it's a masterpiece. I used to love this car back in the day. Everyone loved the guy Veyron because it was just a normal car as I go wide again uh, because I'm trying to control 1,200 brake horsepower with a boat. Um, yeah, everyone liked the Bugatti Veyron, whereas I like this, it was different. The Bugatti Veyron had four wheel drive. This thing. 1,287 brake horsepower going through the back wheels. Uncontrollable, but it was fun. That's really what you want in a game like this. Putting this on Forza, putting this on Forza Horizon. It just be so fun. I don't know why they don't do things like this. As I try to get the back end out, absolutely cracking myself. As I again go wide because it's too fast. Still looks sick, but. Yeah, it's, it's a very, very ominous and scary car, and the air brakes are ridiculous, and probably could be worked on uh, with upgrades and stuff, which you can obviously do on Mars nowadays, so I couldn't really upgrade it in this game, because there wasn't anything to do with it, but nowadays you definitely could, because I think it would be pretty cool to do so, as we come through the last chicane of a obviously very long lap, and I apologise that I've talked for so long about this car as I completely butcher that car. Um, but yeah, what a car. You can just hear wheel spin as I'm just going across the line sideways. What a vehicle. There we go, you can hear that awkward horrible stuff. But yes, that is the SSC Ultimate Aero TT. So I hope you enjoyed that one. Let's get on to the third one. So, number three 
on the list is from an Australian motor company called Joss, and it's the GT1 R3 class. Um, it was this car was on Forza Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 4, and um, no, Forza 3, Forza 4, and Forza Horizon 1. Um, so yeah, pretty nice looking car. I mean, the Australians managed to do something good in the automotive automotive industry. Fair play to them. Um, it's a quiet taste. Um, but let's see what it looks like around the Laguna Sega track in America. Um, yeah, just listen to it come off the line here because it's very, very touring car kind of style. Complete naturally aspirated 6.8 litre V8. Only, I should say only, 500 brake horsepower. Imagine slapping a turbo on that. It would be perfect. Just imagine. Imagine what you can do with it on the new Forza games. And it's just different. Everybody likes different. Everyone gets bored of having the same Lamborghinis and things like that. Just, just in everything. It's boring. And I know all these cars I'm showing you are sports cars. But they're just different. All the hypercars, supercars. Before they were even really a thing. 2010 um, but it's just cool imagine having this in one of the new games and some of the spoilers and stuff you could put on it again it, it looks brilliant in blue uh, but you can have so many designs on here I don't really know anything about this car I don't know whether it was ever raced I don't know how many were ever made probably not very many um, but yeah it had to go, go down the most famous corner in America and um, it's just so cool, it was really fun to get its back end out, because obviously it was uh, real wheel drive. Um, but it, it just just looks cool, it's, I like its front end, it's really aggressive, and then the, the exhaust pipe coming out the top of the car, it's just pretty cool. Like, what else? What else would you want? I just really like it, I don't know, I can't really, I don't really have anything else to say about it, other than it's just a really nice car. Just a really, really nice car. Um, and as I've said, blue just suits it really well. Um, but yeah, that has been the Joss GT1. Let's get on to a bit of a different area um, for the fourth car on the list. So, here we are going into Mazda. You're thinking, why the hell are you going into Mazda, Luke? Well, there's a very important cool car called the Mazda Fury, which was a concept car from 2008, which Mazda kind of talked about and released. Um, it was a pretty, pretty cool car. As we go to Sunset Peninsula Way Raceway, which isn't actually a circuit anymore, R2 class it was in here. A very, very cool sounding and looking vehicle. I really, really like this car. Listen to it. It's a Mazda. So you know what that means. It means rotary. Two litre naturally aspirated three rotor engine. Only running 466 brake horsepower, but come on. Look at it. And um, just, I don't know, at some point you'll see these brake lights that they have. I know this video is, I think, only in 720p, if that. Um, but look at that, look how cool and ominous and just aggressive this car looks. Imagine having this in the new Forza games. They have touring cars and whatever cars in Forza Horizon 4, so why can't we have something like this in Forza Horizon 5? Why not? Have it as a barn find. Have it as something. Just something cool that you need to add to the game. I know it's got a BP sticker on it. Might be sponsor issues, but just work it out. Work it out. Microsoft. Really, really, really cool car. Obviously, the Japanese know how to make some, some funky things. As we're about to go on to the Oval, um, I really like this track, um, but I mean, obviously it doesn't exist in real life, but it's probably based mostly on the Oval. Um, but yeah. Wow. 
and watch it stop in power. You ready? Stopped on a dime. Unbelievable. Just listen to it. Just stationary. Oh, take over. But yes, that was the fourth car. Let's get on to the final car of the video. See what you think. So, another car company that you've probably never heard of for a while, Devon, American company. They make the Devon GTX. Um, this, again, was a car made in 2010. Only an S-Class on here. Um, but yeah, a really, really cool looking car. Quite a taste. Um, but we're at Sebring International Raceway to give the cheeky bugger a go. Let's see what you think off the line here. So, according to sources, there was only two of these ever made. Two. Why don't we put it in a game? Another one. It hasn't been in a game since Forza Horizon 1. It was in Forza 3 and Forza 4. So, imagine it. The engine in this is a V10. An 8.4 naturally aspirated V10. Imagine what you could do with that engine. 650 brake horsepower. 650 from a naturally aspirated engine in 2010. Imagine what you could do with that in 2021. Just saying. I think it'd be pretty cool. So, also, it's very, very... It's weird looking. It's an acquired taste. And I kind of like it. I didn't like it at the time when the game was released. But as the years have gone on, it does look like it's made for 2021, really. I mean, you could, you could pull that off releasing that nowadays. It looks like... It looks like an, a modified RX-7 that drives around my town. Um, which I don't like that, because that's too aggressive. It's got a fat, ridiculous wing on it. And, yeah, but this, this is pretty cool. Um, yeah, why not? Also, it's obviously got a racing stripe down it, and that gives it an extra million horsepower and coolness. Um, yes, it's got very, very weird ri uh, wings and things like that. Um, uh, wheel arches, sorry, should I say, um, as I take out a cone. Very nice to drift. Very, very nice to drift. Probably because it's naturally aspirated, uh, but the V10 drags it around proper nicely, so I can't complain at all. Um, really, really, really impressive. But yeah, I don't know. What, what do you think? What do you think of this car? And obviously, it, you'll never, ever, ever see one. But it'd be cool to have in a Forza game that you could upgrade and do stuff too to make it just look cool. Uh, Yokohama in the background there. But yeah, as we go across the line anyway. Um, yeah, why, why the hell not? Come on. Come on, Forza. Bring, bring this car or all the other ones on this list, at least some of them, into the games again. But anyway, that is the end of the list. So, that is the five cars I think should be in the next or upcoming Forza games uh, that were in Forza Motorsport for the best Forza ever made. Um, yeah, they, they, you need to have some old cars coming back to the front. I think it'd be pretty cool. Um, yeah, some, some of the cars in it are boring, in my opinion. Um, so it'd be good to see if we can have some cool old different cars um, some returning favourites to the game especially this track let's be honest everybody loves this track so in the next Forza Motorsport game we want to see this track let's be honest it might actually make me buy it um, especially if you can get it on the Windows 10 um, so that would be pretty cool it's just I don't know I don't know what Xbox wants to do but I think Xbox are quite good at listening to their their customers and I think this would be a good way to go um, so if you want to see more of these videos um, this kind of videos you want to see more cars from I could do 
Forza Motorsport 3, Forza Motorsport 4 and Forza Horizon 1. We could look at some cars from them three games um, to see what other cars we want uh, coming in the future. That's fine, I can do a video on that. No worries. Um, just let me know in the comments down below. Subscribe, like and all that good stuff. Um, and some feedback would be really nice on other videos that I've done. Um, but thank you for watching this one and let's hope we see some of these in the games to come. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye-bye.